Hello, everyone. Welcome to SPAC Chat. I'm Karen Snow, head of U.S. listings here at NASDAQ, and it's my great pleasure to be speaking with Jim Zukin, chairman and CEO of Zukin Certification Services. Zukin is the SPAC industry's first provider of SPAC readiness certification services and allows a SPAC to independently validate whether it's appropriately prepared for the public markets. Jim, it's great to have you with us today. Well, thank you for inviting me on. It is a privilege to be here. Well, why don't we start off by having you tell us a little bit about your background. Over 40 years ago, uh, a very small organization, uh, the Zucan organization, merged with Houlihan, Loki, and Howard to form Houlihan, Loki, Howard, and Zucan, which became uh, the leading financial valuation firm. At that point in time, focused primarily on advising employee stock ownership plans as they uh, bought companies uh, from the owners. And then we expanded it uh, into uh, fairness opinions, uh, through time into solvency opinions, and then after being in business for more than 10 years, expanded into M&A, financial restructuring across investment banking, set up industry groups, went globally, and are today the leading uh, investment banking boutique in the world. Oh, congratulations. It's quite impressive. So thanks for sharing that. And now focusing on the service itself, what is the Z-SPAC? Uh, what was your motivation behind launching the product? The Z-SPAC service brings IPO readiness to the SPAC market. And we do this by organizing with a framework uh, what we have defined as the four primary elements of readiness and their 30 components. When we are working with a client, we bring to them our ZSPAC dashboard. The dashboard has a timeline on the left, and then it has the four elements and their components. In the middle and on the right, we have what we call the dialogue. Of course, the elements uh, are all of the uh, primary silos of readiness, if you will. And the dialogues are a series of discussions that we think need to occur between the independent directors, the advisors, the sponsor, target CEO, and others. We're not part of those discussions. In oversight, we just want to make sure that they have occurred. And so, if I might, I would like to spend a little more time talking about our service. In addition to providing the dashboard so that the, the sponsor and then with the target can use it to, to organize, centralize, the readiness process. We also provide a comprehensive handbook. What we have found in our research is that there also is no centralized uh, source of uh, all kinds of information uh, about SPACs. Information, again, that is provided by, by researchers, is provided in the various journals, is provided by the data sources. Uh, nobody is really pulling it together and offering it, uh, partially because a lot of it is confidential, sensitive, copyright protected, et cetera. For us, we've been spending hundreds of hours gathering this together. And so we now have this handbook, of course it's online, being updated periodically, has well over 100 pages, uh, over 400 click-throughs, and of course, we do not sell it. It is bundled, it is part of our service. And so all kinds of information that we could not, say, put on our website and make it available to others, whether or not we charged for it, here, this is all kept confidential. And so we have this unique resource and we always think of everything we do to be available to all, but to be of particular value to the independent directors. I identify with 
the independent directors. And so here we have the handbook and we have the dashboard and we are ready to move forward. However, let's go back to the earlier point I raised. Let's say the directors need to buff up on their skills. And I really am focused on the independent directors on the audit committee. So we are not, again, we are not preparing them. We are not providing them tutorials. We are providing oversight. We are, of course, available as a sounding board. So what we decided to do, once again, bundled into our service, not with a separate charge, is that we provide and pay for the classic analytical training tools for associates, the same tools that we use, I should say associates and analysts. These are the same tools we use here to train our analysts. And so they have them. As a matter of fact, it's three volumes and 1300 pages with just great information. They can use it to, if they want to, build models, check models, run DCFs, uh, ask smarter questions perhaps, and be able to raise their own standard. Again, with a focus on the independent directors, but available to all. Yeah, so that's fantastic. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the, the current SPAC market and how readiness fits into that. The current SPAC market today uh, is going through some significant changes as it matures. We've seen very high redemptions, significant litigation, uh, regulatory issues uh, rise, uh, and poor aftermarket performance. Uh, however, we think that the SPAC marketplace will play an important role in the future. Certainly, it's taking its breath right now, but during this maturation phase where we will see important changes in terms of addressing shareholder issues and others, that uh, readiness plays a fundamental role. So to that end, uh, what do you do exactly um, in terms of SPAC readiness? Is it focused on the SPAC, the target, the merged entity. Can you just walk us through the process? Sure. So we start advising the sponsor. The sponsor needs to get ready themselves so they, they can hit the ground ready and working with the target uh, in this important partnership and during the transition uh, from SPAC to DSPAC that they prepare the company. Uh, so that at the point of DSPAC, it is, it is ready to, uh, to hit the ground running itself. And I would say that, in fact, it should be ready uh, at the time of the proxy. So why would a SPAC board or audit committee want a Z-SPAC readiness certification? Who benefits and um, what's been the market reception so far out of curiosity? As we've gotten into this, what we have found is that all market participants, all uh, the uh, company uh, executives, board, uh, independent directors, who I'll come back to, and, and others, there, there's differentiation. There's an opportunity to communicate to shareholders that out of the uh, almost 600 SPACs that are today looking for targets uh, and to DSPAC that, that in some cases they can show with the ZSPAC readiness certification. And certainly, and we hope and expect other certifications to come from others that they are indeed ready because otherwise investors will not know, even though a company may have done a great job uh, the target combined with the sponsor in terms of getting ready. Uh, here we have third party oversight from a, a, a really solid group. Uh, and if I might, so we have uh, Matt McGuire, 
uh, our executive director, former executive director of the World Bank, which is a position equivalent to the chairman of the World Bank and of the IFC. Uh, we have Rajat Mahatra, former managing partner of McKinsey on the West Coast. And then we have our own chief accountant, Tim Manis, who is an extraordinary internal auditor. We also have two uh, very senior investment bankers that have come over from Houlihan Loki after illustrious careers that are serving as project managers to help guide the SPACs uh, through the steps in our process and to then have them uh, get their certification, hopefully. And we would expect so in almost all cases. Well, it's great to hear, very impressive team. So before we sign off, any final words of wisdom? Well, the one thing I would like to say, uh, going back to your question first, is to be very specific. We have a dashboard that we provide internally, that's how we work, uh, as well as providing it to the SPAC, uh, to the uh, target management, to the advisors, and to the independent directors. Now, there are four elements that we use. The first one is finance, reporting, and tax. Excuse me, but I'm gonna get a little uh, granular here and I'm gonna mention <laughs> the other three. Uh, the second one is corporate governance, legal, and compliance. The third, corporate administration processes and controls. And the fourth is corporate strategy and deal advisory. Many people do not think that that fourth element is part of readiness. We think it is an essential part. And I would say that in terms of a, of a closing comment, it relates to the role of the independent directors that under Sarbanes-Oxley, they are charged with oversight and they will be playing a much more important role going forward we believe we actually are providing analysts training tools of the type you find training analysts on wall street so they can do some self-education to kind of buff up their financial literacy and we also are providing a comprehensive uh, director's handbook a resource for them that's a unique part and a very important part of our service. And so in being here today, what we feel is, is that the SPAC, more so than ever, is becoming part of the conversation. This is the conversation where NASDAQ is such a strong leader. And again, deeply honored to be here to share our story and wanna thank you once again for inviting me on today. Well, thank you so much. And on behalf of everyone here at NASDAQ, we wish you continued success. And that's it for SPAC Chat. See you next time.